your Monday Be Well workout with me, Darian Leader, personal trainer. Um, today we're going to be moving through a body weight blowout, so we don't actually need any real equipment, um, but I do have a soft mat or a yoga mat set up, and then for one of the moves I am going to use a chair. Um, you can use a step, you can use the chair, you can use your sofa. So when I show you that movement, feel free to just grab whatever's in your space. Um, so welcome. I, as always, have my buddy Bella here. She's going to hopefully hang around and maybe do some downward dogs with us. But um, otherwise, let's get started. And as always, I want to remind you to make sure you're taking any modifications that you need for your own body. Um, this should be enjoyable. It should be challenging, but it shouldn't be painful. Um, so please do participate at your own risk. And we're just going to start by kind of walking out our hips here, just giving ourselves a little march. And we're going to take one foot up and hold it into a stretch here. Feel free to grab onto a you know, countertop or a chair, anything that you might need to gain that balance. Put your arm up if that works for you. Um, you just want to make sure you're keeping that leg close to your body and that it's not shooting out. And let's switch. And today's workout is going to be consistent of three major chunks. Each one of those circuits is going to have three different exercises um, in each one of them. And we're going to run through each of those two or three times. Um, so I will go through everything. I will explain everything. And I will offer modifications as we go. But first, we want to just get ourselves nice and warmed up. Between each of those sets, we're also going to do a, a quick burst of cardio as well. So we're going to be boosting those metabolisms for the whole day. All right, let's come into a nice wide stance here. I'm just gonna sort of walk in and out of a nice sumo squat position here. Just nice and slowly. Just opening up those hip flexors. And let's step our stance a little bit closer. Take this into a nice soft bend with an overhead reach. Soft bend. And overhead reach to the opposite side. Back and forth. Taking these nice and slowly at your own pace. And trying to get a little bit further in that twist each time. Very good. Making sure you're breathing through your nose, filling that diaphragm out through the mouth. A couple more here. Excellent. And let's take our arms and we're going to bring our right arm across our body using our left arm to help pull into that stretch. So we are going to be working our full body today. So arms, legs, core, everything. So we want to make sure that we're nice and loose. Take that behind. Good. And switch. Oh, I think Bella's giving up on us already. <laughs> and switch. See you, Bell. She's already been for her workout today. All right. So once you're feeling nice and loose, I'm going to show you the cardio that we're going to be running through after each circuit, okay? So we're going to start with 10 jumping jacks here. And we're going to move right from those 10 jacks to 10 high knees, getting those knees up as high as possible. And then we're going to move right into ice skaters. So just taking nice side step lunges here, nice and slowly, nice and controlled. It's a little tricky on my mat here because it wants to slide. So I'm taking caution to make sure that I don't go flying into the cabinet there. <laughs> Awesome. So that set of cardio is going to reappear a couple times in the workout. So we're going to start with our first set and we're going to move onto our mat or soft surface or just anywhere you have some ample space. And the first move we're going to take is we're going to stand about hip length apart here. My hands are in prayer. I'm going to rock forward, give myself some more space. And as I do, I'm going to allow my right leg to come up behind. Once I've found that balance, I'm going to tap it up and down for 10. If you'd like to hold onto a countertop or a chair, please feel free to do so. 
In other words, you got a nice soft bend in that left leg. And 10, return. Pause for a moment, maybe stand up on those toes, kind of stretch out those muscles. And we go right back, same leg, leaning forward, bringing that right leg up behind us, and we're gonna tap down for 10 more. So we're just tapping up and down. Make sure you're breathing. Good, and then return. So you're really gonna start feeling that burn on that left leg, that stabilizer. All right, one more here. Same leg, leaning forward for 10 more tap downs. Nine and 10, good, return. Our next movement here is gonna involve a lunge step back to balance. So what we're gonna do is we're working that right leg as the mover and we're gonna step back into a lunge with that right leg behind and then step forward, bringing that right leg up, holding it here for a moment. So we're going to move through that three times there. So step back and then step up, bringing that right leg up to balance. I've got my front toes flexed as well for a little extra love in that leg. And step back, finding that balance and step it up, holding there. Awesome. Great. Last movement. We're going to walk, step wide into a sumo squat position. We're gonna sink low into the sumo position, so really nice and low. And then we are gonna pulse for 10. So just small little pulses here in that sumo position, really challenging all your leg muscles here. Working those glutes, working those quads, and we rise. Get your breath for a moment. And pop back down for 10 little pulses. Imagine you're just coming up and down about an inch. It's a very small movement, but it's very effective. And come on up. And sink down. That's 10 here. Excellent, come on up. That was our first run through that circuit. We're gonna now take it to the other side and do those three exercises on the opposite side. So the first time we were really moving that right leg, the second time we're gonna move our left leg, all right? So we're gonna start by coming into that position. Like I said, if you would like to have some stabilization here, that is totally fine too. So I have my chair, here's a demonstration, but you'll lean forward, allowing that left leg to come up this time, either supporting yourself or hands in prayer, and you're gonna tap down for 10. and then return to standing. Reset, pop up on those toes, and rock forward, allowing that left leg to come out, and find those taps. Good, and return. Last time here, we rock forward, allow that left leg to fly high, and tap down for 10. Nice soft bend in that right leg this time. Good, and return. Now we're gonna move right into that step back lunge to balance, okay? So we're gonna step back with our left leg this time, and then step it forward, bringing it up, holding it for a nice balance. And step back. Find that balance, use your support if needed. And step up, holding for balance. Even though you're moving the left leg, it's really the right leg that's doing most of the work here. And last one, step back, find that balance. And step up. Excellent, step wide into the sumo squat. And let's sink down for our first 10 pulses here. Breathing deeply, getting lower and lower each time, and rise. Pausing here for a second, and we sink down. Very good. And 
rise. Last one, best one. Sinking lower than you have before. And we got our 10 pulses here. Nine, 10, come up and we go right into that cardio. So we're going right into 10 jumping jacks, 10 high knees, and 10 ice skaters. Right to those high knees, bringing them up as high as possible and right into our ice skaters. So just nice lateral lunges, really controlling that landing. And my center of gravity is definitely thrown off these days. So you might see me wiggling a little bit as well with this baby bump on board. All right. Good, grab some water. That was our first circuit down. Two more to go, you're doing great. This next circuit is going to involve our arms. So we're going to try to do some inchworm walkouts to push-ups. We're going to do some standing up to squat jumps. And we're going to use our chair or whatever surface you choose to do some tricep dips. So I will walk you through those. Make sure you're hydrating. And I know you can't see her, but... Bella has moved right here and is still cheering you all on. Right, Bella? All right, so once you've caught your breath, we're gonna go right into that second circuit, like I said. So we're gonna start with our inchworm walkouts. So what this looks like, and again, I'm using a yoga mat, but you can really do this anywhere you feel secure. So if you're in socks, try not to be in socks on the slippery floor, maybe a rug would be best. But we're gonna start by just bringing our arms all the way up. We're going to take a nice dive down, reaching for those toes and coming halfway up and coming all the way up one vertebrae at a time, bring those arms back up. And this time we're going to reach down and when we get to the mat, we're going to inchworm our way all the way out into that strong plank position, holding here for a moment. We're going to drop our knees and we're gonna take five tricep push-ups. So we're just going up and down right here. Those elbows are staying in at your side. Very good, push back up into plank, and then we push ourselves inchworm style all the way back up to standing, bringing those arms high. And we're gonna take another dive here. So just reaching, stretching out that back, coming halfway up, and diving down, allowing yourself now to come on up one vertebrae at a time. And if the inchworm is too much for you, please feel free to start on your mat. So you can take that challenge out and modify that way as well, okay? So this time, arms high, and we dive to meet the mat and inchworm our way out. Holding in that plank position, nice strong core, nice flat back. You're more than welcome to take your push-ups from the plank position as well, or drop those knees and take those five push-ups. And five, pushing back up into that plank and inchworming our way all the way back up, coming on up to standing. Very good. So that's the first movement in our second circuit. The second movement, we're gonna come down to our knees and we're gonna move from this kneeling position into a low squat position, into a star jump, and then we're gonna return, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it without using support first, but you can have your support near you if you'd like to have it to help you get up. So the challenge is to go from this kneeling position and step into that squat, into that star jump, and then return back down, okay? If you need support getting up, feel free to drop your hands down, come into a low frog position, and then help you stand up. Option to do the jump, and then come back down, okay? So I started with my right leg first, now we're gonna move with the left leg first. So left leg leader, and squat jump, left leg closes, okay? Right leg leader, into that squat, jump, and close. Last time, left leg leader. 
jump, and left leg back down. Good, excellent. Now for our last movement in this circuit, tricep dips. So I'm gonna be using my chair here as my surface, and this looks like this. We're just gonna come right to the edge of it, and I'm just gonna lower and raise for 10 here. So like I said, you can do this from the bottom of a step. You can do this from a table that's sturdy and low, like a coffee table or a couch, whatever you've got going on, make it work. Good. And return. We're gonna run through that another time. If you've got the movements, you can do this. Grab water, towel off, always feel like you can take a rest and rejoin whenever you need to, okay? So we're coming back to our starting position and we're gonna start with arms high and let's dive down, reaching for those toes, ankles, calves, whatever you can reach. And come on up halfway, straight back, looking forward and lower. And then let's come on up one vertebrae at a time again, bringing those arms tall. And we dive down this time, hands meeting the mat, walking our way out, inchworming into plank. Hold strong in the plank. Drop those knees if you'd like. And we'll take five plank push-ups here. Push back up into that plank and inchworm your way right back up. Coming up nice and slowly and allowing those arms to come high to sky and dive down, reaching for those toes. Straighten out that back, looking up, dive down and come on up. One vertebrae at a time, rolling out that neck. Arms come high and now we're diving for that inchworm. Hands come to mat, let's walk our hands out, holding strong in that plank. Option to do your push-ups from here or drop those knees for five modified plank push-ups. And five, push back up to plank and walk your way back on up, coming high. Excellent. Moving into the center of our space, we drop down to those knees again, and we're gonna go from kneeling to star drop, okay? I'm starting with my right leg. Right leg out, left leg out, squat to star jump. Right leg down, left leg down, switch sides. Left leg out, right leg out, star jump. Left leg down, right leg down. Awesome, pause for a second, you got one more each side. Right leg up, Left leg up, star jump, right down, left down, and left leg up, right leg up, star jump, left leg down, right leg down. Very good. Coming on up, find your surface for those tricep push-ups. You're doing awesome. You're more than halfway through everything. So we find 10 here. Elbows are bending straight behind your back there. And 10. Awesome job. Come right up, right into that cardio to close out this circuit. So we've got our 20, or 10 jacks. Nine, 10, right to those high knees. One, and right into those ice skaters. Being careful with these. Nine and 10. Awesome work, grab water, towel off, and then we're moving into our final circuit. Whew. Make sure to keep moving around while you're grabbing your water. We don't want those heart rates to drop. Keeping that metabolism boosted. And these quick bursts of cardio are gonna keep your metabolism working double time. 
for hours and hours throughout the day. So it's a great exercise to lead you into the week, but also to carry you through the whole day. Okay, coming into our very last circuit. You've got this, you're in the home stretch. We are gonna be using our mat or soft surface. Like I said, carpet is fine, but we're gonna do some plank shoulder taps and some plank step outs. So we're gonna be holding strong in that plank position for our first movement. I will show you everything. We're gonna move from there right into some bird dog crunches, which we've done before. Opposite limbs crunching towards opposite limbs. And then we're gonna move right into our cardio for our core. So we're gonna work those abs. We're gonna do some heel touches from our back and some karate chops. So without further ado, let me show you how to do these moves. It's easier for you to see them. Um, so we're gonna start in the plank position. So I'm coming down to my mat. Now, if you are not comfortable stepping into the full plank, please feel free to make these movements happen from tabletop position. So the first one would be tapping opposite hand to opposite shoulder. It's great for your limbs to just work it out in this position. For those of you who can do the plank, we're gonna step into the plank and we're gonna take tappings on each side. <sighs> Trying to keep the lower body still as you alternate taps. Okay, and lower. Take a moment to pause if you need to. And the second part of this first exercise is back in that plank position. We're gonna step out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, and return. Okay, so the first movement is two exercises, working the top and working the bottom. All right. So we're moving through that twice so that we're gonna jump right back into what I just showed you. So starting with our plank and our alternating shoulder taps. Step into plank and give me those opposite top taps. Good, bring those knees down, pause for a moment and push right back up into plank and we step out, out, in, in. Out, in, in, out, out, in, in and lower, good. Moving from here, we're gonna take our bird dogs on. So we're in a nice tabletop position. We're gonna shoot that right arm out, left leg out. So opposite limbs are extended and we're gonna crunch knee to elbow. Two, three, four, and five. Excellent. And return down to tabletop. Very good. Same side, five more. Right arm out, left arm out, and crunch. Crunch, 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 and lower. Good job. Pause for a moment and we switch limbs. Left arm extends, right leg extends, okay? If you're not comfortable with the crunches, go ahead and just stay right here or you can do some tap downs, just tapping those ones up and down. So we crunch, 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 and last one, crunch and lower. Pause for a moment, make sure that core is solid and strong. And same legs out, left leg, sorry, right leg, left arm, and five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're gonna come right down to our backs and we're gonna work those abs. So we're coming down flat on our back here. Heels are about hip length apart. Knees are bent. And with those fingertips, you're gonna rock back and forth, reaching for those heels. So I'm just tapping each outer heel rotating the top of my torso and keeping my bottom stationary. We're looking for 20 heel touches here. Excellent. Lower back, readjust to make sure your back is flat on the ground. We don't want any arching. Your hands can't go underneath there. And we're gonna come into karate chop. So prayer hands here. 
And we are gonna just chop through our legs and then out to the side, through our legs, opposite side. So we're just chopping that crunch in three different points of landing. Here for 20. Good. And relax. Now that you've got those movements down, we're going through it one more time, hitting that cardio, and then you're done. You're doing awesome. You're almost there. So we're going to come right back up to where we started. So we've got those plank touches. So we're getting right back onto our mat. And we are going to go into that plank position when you're ready. Stepping up into plank, holding strong, and give me those alternating shoulder taps. And lower. So when you get those 10, give yourself a break, reset. Always feel free to kick it back into child's pose if you need to. And we go right back up on the plank for the 10 more shoulder taps. And pop up, hold strong, and plank or total shoulder touch. And lower. Good. Rock it back into child's pose if you need to. Knees wide. Come right back up, and we've got those step outs. So from the plank position, 10 and 10. Coming up to plank, and we step out, out, in, in. Out, in, in. Out, out. In, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and lower. You should really feel your whole core really working for that stabilization. And step back up to plank. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and lower. Give me that child's pose. Those are not easy. Catch some water if you need to. You always can. And we come up and we've got our bird dogs. All right. So we are going to, from the same starting position as before, right arm extends, left leg extends, and we crunch for five. And one, and return, reset, make sure that core is strong, pull that belly button in, and extend, same limbs, right arm, left leg, crunch, 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 awesome. And return, Whew. and then we're going to switch to our other side here, left arm, right leg, and crunch, 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 and return. Good, good, good. Last five. You've got this. Left arm extends, right leg extends, crunch, 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 crunch. Awesome. Lowering down. Come to those backs. Last exercise in this circuit. We're almost there. Give me those heel touches for 20. Halfway. Good, 20. Give me those hands together. Karate chop through the legs, outside, through the legs, other outside. Doesn't matter if you stay in sync with where my chop is landing. Just go ahead and make sure you're hitting all three points. So you're working all dynamics of those abs. Last couple. You got it. And finish strong. Hop right up. Finish with that cardio circuit. 20 jacks. Halfway, this last cardio is double time. And 20 high knees. And 20 ice skaters. 
just getting myself onto a more stable surface here since we're doing 20. Halfway, finish strong, this is it, you are there. Three, two, and one. Woo! Awesome, awesome, awesome work. Let's cool it down. Grab your water. Tell all that you're a sweat monster like I am. You did great today. And now we're gonna cool it down nice and slowly so we bring down our heart and our body temp very nice and casually. We don't wanna just abruptly stop. So let's come to our mat and let's take those nice sumo squats, low and high. Maybe we'll bring our arms into this, shooting them out into a star on the way up. Nice and slowly. Good. Coming together, closer squat position, taking a nice bend and torso reach, just like we did in the beginning. Breathing the whole time. Let your body come down slowly. Make sure you're getting nice and deep in that twist. Good. A couple more each side here. Nice, good. Let's take our hips and let's rotate them into a full range of motion. So we're just rocking those hips forward to the front and back. Getting a nice stretch and almost like a massage in those hip flexors. Just drawing big circles here with our pelvis and take it to the opposite direction now. Very good. Awesome, awesome. Find a stable countertop or chair or something so that we can stretch out those legs because now we're a little bit full of jelly. I don't want you falling all over the place. So go ahead and have some support here. I've got my right leg up. Notice that it's trending right alongside its left partner there. We don't want to stress it by sending it out in an opposite rotation. Very good. And let's take that same right leg and cross it up and over our left leg and sink into kind of a seated chair here. Again, use your stabilization. Excellent. Come on up and let's switch sides there. So I'm just gonna face my countertop here, grabbing that left leg and pulling it up. And let's take that left leg up and over our right leg and sink into that seated chair. Very good. Let's not forget about those arms. Let's take some nice lateral swings here, just letting our arms stretch out, squeezing those shoulder blades together in the back. And take them wide, thumbs up, thumbs down. And let's bring right arm up over behind, pat yourself on the back. Take a nice stretch there. And switch arms up over behind with the left. And switch them down. Bring that right arm across your body for a nice stretch here. And shake it out, bring it to the other side. Awesome, awesome work today. You did so great. You can do this exercise again at your own time or your own pace any day. Um, all of these videos can be found on the Be Well website at chc.edu slash be well. Um, you can also find these videos on YouTube. I strongly encourage you to mix them into your routine if you can throughout the week. 
Um, as always, drink lots and lots of water. Get out. Enjoy the sunshine. My name is Darian Leader. I'm so glad you joined me today. Have an awesome rest of the week.